Hi, I am Kushbu Kishnani. I am doing MS in Signal Processing and Communication of Electrical Engineering Department at IIT Kanpur. Welcome back to my channel, The Dream Called IIT. So this video is for students who have valid GATE scorecard with them. For those who don't know, only those students who qualify GATE exam get a scorecard. Qualifying GATE exam is a very underrated thing. If you go as per the data, only 18.8% of the students who gave GATE 2020 got qualified. So even if you have just qualified the GATE exam, you still have something in your hand. If you ask me that I have 3000, 5000 and 8000 gate rank, then can I get a good IIT? My answer is yes, you can. And this is not my supposition. I have seen people with these ranks getting into IIT Kanpur and IIT Madras for MS. See, nobody is going to tell you all this. Because even if they do so, instead of focusing on the information and learning something, what you will do is mock them and call them lucky that they got IIT with so low rank. Suddenly, your viewpoint about them will completely change. I will tell you how exactly you will behave. 8000 rank ke teri, itne mein kaise ho gaya yaar? कोचिंग वाले सर तो बोल रहे थे अंडर 500 चाहिए जरूर कोई तुक्का लग गया होगा या फिर तूने कोई जुगाड़ लगाया होगा वही मैं सोचूं शकल तो तेरी लगती नहीं आई आई टी एन वाली फिर हो कैसे गया तेरा सच बता तू जनरल कैटेगरी का ही है ना मुझे तेरा स्कोर कार्ड दिखा ना मुझे तेरी कैटेगरी चेक करनी है कम मॉन मैन ग्रो अप आई मीन सीरियसली you lack information, you don't know various ways and you are doubting the caliber of a person who has took an extra effort to know the rarely known things and converted their bad result into a great outcome. Actually, you are not alone. We all tend to find the shortcomings in other success and excuses to justify our own failure. This is a very wrong attitude. If you want to be successful, get one thing straight into your head. Nobody is lucky here. Everyone creates their own luck by their hard work. So you should respect the success and efforts of other people the same way you do for yourself. Anyways, let's get back to the point. So I will tell you how to get IIT with low gate rank. But before that, let me tell you something. So it's October going on. You would have applied in the summer admissions of July. If you are not where you wanted to be, these three things may have happened with you. Either you didn't get call from any IIT or you got a call, but you messed up the interview due to nervousness. And worst of all, you were so disheartened and hopeless after the GATE results that you yourself decided that you are not going to get any good IIT with this GATE score. So you didn't even apply to many IITs. Here lies the problem. We get so busy in chasing that under 100-500 rank that we forget the main objective of giving GATE itself. We didn't start our preparation for getting a good rank. We started it because either we wanted to do post-graduation from IIT or we wanted a good job in PSU. And to get admission in IIT, having a GATE score is just 50% job done. The rest 50% is applying everywhere, giving written tests, interview and whatever required to get that desired seat. Don't worry, I have a good news for all of you. You can rectify all your mistakes of summer admission in the upcoming winter admission. So let's see what is it.
IITs and IISC Bangalore conduct their admissions in July. After getting admissions, some students leave when they get a job offer from PSU. To fill these seats, some IITs also conduct the admission in the second semester, that is winter session. The semester starts from January. The application process for this admission starts from October. The good thing is that very less people know about it. So cutoffs are much lower than the summer. But here is the catch. Only some IITs take out seats in some branches. The number of seats are very less. For example, during my admission, there were only four students selected in my branch. And in some other branch, it was only one student who got selected. So it can vary very randomly. But you don't have to think about all this right now. You require only one seat. So you have to focus on giving your best instead of worrying about the less seats. One more good news for you is that due to lockdown, many IITs had withdrawn their seats in summer, telling that they are going to conduct admissions in winter. So you can expect more seats this year compared to last year. See, I'm not going to give you false hopes by telling that it's gonna be easy. It cannot be, right? After all, it's IIT. If you are someone who had prepared really well for GATE, but due to some reasons got less than what you deserve, here is the second chance for you. Go and nail it. Knowledge never gets wasted. Always remember one thing. Result do ka de sakta hai, par knowledge nahi. You tried so hard, but still fail. Doesn't matter. Fail again, fail better. Because that's how you gonna grow. M-Tech seats are very less. Mostly, MS and PhD seats come out. Majority of them are PhD. Gate score is just for getting a call for an interview or written test. After that, it doesn't matter much. They want your research aptitude more than your gate score. The selection procedure is different for different IITs. Some conduct both written test and interview and some conduct only interviews. How many students will be shortlisted on the basis of gate score will be decided by the selection procedure. If they conduct both interview and written test, more students will be called. And if they conduct only interviews, then less students will be called. So you have to prepare accordingly. Apart from that, you should also have a decent BTEC percentage. Again, the criteria may vary according to the IIT. In some, it is 65 and in others, it can also go up to 80 percentage. So you have to check all that before applying. Other things that you need to prepare are SOP and your final year BTEC project. In statement of purpose, that is SOP, basically you have to show them why you are interested in that field and also why you are a suitable candidate for that C. So you have to align all your projects and past experiences with the specialization you are applying to. To make it more specific, you can go to the department website of that IIT and select some professors whose area of interest matches with yours and make sure that it matches with the specialization that you are applying to. Interview has a very wide scope. Mostly, it is based on the specialization that you have applied to and generally it is based on the GATE syllabus. In some interviews, they also ask about your final year BTEC project. So you have to prepare everything really well. So here, those students will get an edge who didn't stop their preparation after their gate went bad. I will be making videos for interview preparation. But for now, 
first you should focus on the application process every iit individually publishes the notification for admission on their websites so you have to check them regularly to stay updated make sure that you do not miss out any form so i have prepared a table for you today is 19th of october so this is the list of iits whose forms are out till now for applying you can go to the website of every iit and check the notification and link to apply i have arranged them in the order of last date as you can see majority of them are phd seats direct phd means phd that you do directly after btech instead of masters the iits that has come out with ms and mtech seats are iit madras iit delhi and iit kanpur like this you have to keep checking the websites of all iits to stay updated and you have to apply everywhere see it's like if you apply to 10 places you will get call from two places so the probability is around 20% so to increase your chances you have to apply not only in your department but also in the interdisciplinary departments don't underestimate the interdisciplinary departments some of them have really good opportunities for now i am just telling you to apply not to join it's like you will apply to many places you will get call from lesser places and you will be selected in even lesser places so to keep your options open you have to apply everywhere after getting selected you can choose the best option but don't start doing that while applying this is a golden opportunity you cannot afford to miss it even if you are preparing for gate 2021 make sure that you don't miss this chance i will keep uploading the videos related to the winter admission subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to stay updated if you found this video useful please like and share the video with all your friends who are preparing for gate exam see ya keep hustling